time critics slam rules for thee, but not for me. Democrats, as more and more elected officials are caught maskless despite their own rules. But are we turning the corner on COVID mandates? More states are set to ease up on restrictions in the coming weeks. Plus, crime continues to spiral out of control in soft on crime Democrat run cities. And critics call out GoFundMe for ending the Freedom Convoy fundraiser for Canadian truckers against vaccine mandates. The Florida Attorney General joins us tonight to discuss her fight against the fundraising platform. Plus this story, criticism of the Winter Olympic host country continues to pile up. China talks that athletes' self-censorship could continue even when they return home. And the Biden border crisis getting more attention as people begin to question, why will President Biden send troops, think about this, to protect Ukraine's border, but he's ignoring the crisis mounting at our own? I'm Jackie DeAngelis in for Elizabeth McDonald. The Evening Edit starts right now. Welcome, everybody. More on Russia-Ukraine tensions and President Biden's meeting with the German chancellor coming up. But first, rules for thee, not for me. Georgia Democrat Stacey Abrams slammed by GOP lawmakers after posing maskless for this photo among masked school children after calling for tighter masking policies in schools. Hmm. Joining us now to discuss, Congressman Jeff Van Drew from the House GOP Doctors Caucus, along with Fox News contributor Liz Peek. Congressman, good evening. I want to start with you. What do you make of this latest example of hypocrisy from the left? Because we've seen this throughout the pandemic. We need to get vaccines. We need to be wearing masks. We need to mask our children in school. And yet she didn't have to. Well, it, it has been since the beginning of the pandemic, and it's shameful and it's horrible. So it's literally almost like uh, a socialist state where, you know, the people on top are real important. They can do and say and feel the way they want to and behave the way they want to. Oh, but certainly not you. You have to do what you're told to do, even though it didn't follow the rule of science. But we're finding out now, finally, 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 they are admitting some of the folks on top, some of the folks in the Democratic Party, that this was wrong, that the masks didn't really work, that it was a really a negative for our children. And it did hurt our children, yeah. some of them psychologically, some of them physically, uh, just really affected their lives. For years, this has been going on. And if you follow the science, you knew what the truth was. But the reality is Fauci, the president, our governor, other governors, some of them didn't follow the science and just felt like telling people that they had control and that this is what they were going to do, even though, as you just so you know, perfectly said, oh, it's okay for me to do it, but by the way, you can't do it. So we can party in Florida and you know, just have a lot of fun and do our drinking and not even think of wearing a mask, including AOC, yes. have a good time, <laughs> but everybody else has to be kind of holed up, walled up in a little room somewhere, kind of scared and wondering what's gonna happen next. It's wrong and it hurt American people and it hurt America. And it hurt the children. And actually, Stacey Abrams did say, um, trying to explain away that photo, that she wanted the children um, to be able to see her and to be able to hear her well. And don't you think that parents, Liz Peek, want their children to be able to see and hear the teachers and the other children in the classroom as well? I mean, you know, this has been going on so long. There are some states just saying, listen, we just want to give parents the option here. Let's just give them the option. They can choose what's right for their children. Exactly. Uh, and Stacey Adrian's boy. Jackie, that's I, totally the right approach. And uh, it, you know, it's high time that these mask mandates for kids in particular were dropped, particularly because most kids are going to school wearing cloth masks, which we've been told by the medical authorities don't really mean anything. But look, I think when you see dozens now, it's dozens of Democrat lawmakers, uh, mayors, Garcetti and, and, you know, Newsom and all these people who basically don't abide by these rules, it means they don't take them seriously. And guess what? Increasingly, Americans don't take them seriously. The good news is we are turning the corner, not just because cases are down, but because honestly, I think Americans are fed up mm. and the governors yeah. of New Jersey and Connecticut have now acknowledged that they're dropping the mask mandates. 
uh, and they're smart to do it because politically this has to happen. Yeah, and uh, Congressman, New York politicians are getting caught up in this double standard as well. As Liz points out, New York Congressman Jamal Bowman pictured at a high school without wearing a mask while students pictured around him were all masked up. It's, it's just days after doubling down on these mask mandates for students on school grounds. New York City Mayor Eric Adams, he was pictured maskless uh, at a, indoors at a restaurant. So at this point, you know, you just have to kind of ask, has the public's patience run thin with this? Um, I do see a lot of people bucking the mandates here in New York City. They just feel tired. They are tired. We're worn out. Uh, what's been done to us has been so unfair. The truth hasn't been told. We have not received the truth in so many ways, dealing with COVID and dealing with a lot of other issues, by the way. And, you know, it's, it's really arrogance. When a politician says, well, the kids have to wear the masks, but we'll take ours off because we really know those kids want to see us. They want right. to see our faces. You know, the kids, they want to see their parents' faces. They want to see their friends' faces. They want to see their grandparents' faces. Come on. No, not that many people are concerned about seeing the politicians' faces. You've got to be <laughs> kidding me. Well, the littlest kids have spent their entire um, academic careers wearing masks, and that's what some parents are just so upset about. They don't know what life would be like without it, essentially. Um, Liz Peek, I just want to finish with you because I did read your column on FoxNews.com today. You were talking about um, anybody who essentially opposes these mandates. They're sort of seen as undermining the administration. They're seen as a threat, if you will. And that's how it's being positioned here. Your thoughts? Yeah, I think it's an appalling thing that there has been a lockdown on debate and dissent about something, Jackie, after all, that two years ago was brand new. Nobody knew what this virus was capable of, how it would spread, uh, why some people were getting sick and others weren't. And yet, even in the midst of all that uncertainty, the medical authorities and the politicians who were relying on them pretended that they knew everything. And I think What's, the reason the truckers are protesting, the reason that so many workers are angry about a vaccine mandate is because many of them have had COVID, particularly right. the truckers right. who, after all, early on were out delivering our packages, et cetera, and keeping the economy afloat. So they've had it. They know those natural immunities are every bit as important as a vaccine. And guess what? The CDC just came out a week or so ago and said that very thing. So People have lost confidence. They're tired of being bullied by people who don't know any more than they know. Uh, I think we're really at a tipping point. And honestly, I'm glad. It's time to sort of step on this censorship, whether it's Joe Rogan or the truckers or whatever. It's offensive and it should never have happened. Yeah, and I'll just remind everybody, of course, from the beginning of the pandemic, first Fauci said, don't wear a mask. Then he said, you should wear a mask. Then he said, you should wear two masks. I mean, at a certain point, you know, we have to accept that this is this is here to stay. Omicron was less potent, if you will, than the previous strains of the virus. And we need to move on. And so does our economy. Congressman Jeff Van Drew, Liz Peek, thank you so much for your time. It was great to be thank with you. So you. Thank you. Okay. President Biden holding a high-stakes meeting today.